This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Tropical storm Isai is slamming the tri-state area this afternoon with dangerous winds and torrential rainfall and tornado warnings are popping up across our area. Good afternoon to you. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Sandra Bookman. We are in this afternoon for David and Charlene and we're getting new video in as we come on the air. The first here from South Ocean City, New Jersey, this video of a possible tornado. Yeah, and some more video for you. We showed you this video about 30 minutes ago when we were on the air on the air for tornado warnings. You can see that tent collapsed in Wildwood. These storms this afternoon are packing a punch, all because of Isaias. And in South Brunswick, which is in Middlesex County, police say the high winds really kicking up the surf there. You can see that, and the trees. They have in fact taken down several trees. And taking a live look across our area, you can see the dark sky, the driving rain, and high winds are about to come. There are more than 140,000 power outages right now in New Jersey. And we have a team of reporters covering conditions across the area, but we are going to begin with Sam Champion, who is timing all of this out for us. Sam? Yeah, and happy to have Jeff Smith in because we have a lot of things that will be popping during this broadcast, and Jeff is watching every watch and warning, and as soon as we get them, we'll bring them to you. Meanwhile, I'm looking at the radar right now, and I want to show you this on AccuTrack. By the way, while I point out that Stafford, Virginia has had seven inches of rain, that's down to the south of us, and that's more rain in Virginia than landfall when this storm made landfall in North Carolina with four to five inches of rain. So this thing really does have the potential of having a lot of rain and we don't need the hurricane center to find the center of circulation for us any longer. We've got a good radar view of it and you can see center of circulation is now moving up and even into South Jersey area. Watch the spiral of this moisture being pulled in. This main band right here is our main concern over the next few hours. The storms have been tough to intense and this is what spawned an awful lot of those tornado warnings that were just down to our south. So right now tornado watch areas out until four o'clock. This is all the flooding that's going on from Philadelphia into central New Jersey. We've had flash flood warnings extend all the way to the coast at some point, so we're going to see more of them as the heavier rain moves into the area. Coastal concerns are a whole different thing going on over the next couple of hours. It's almost like two separate storms. Remember, we're going downward in tide time. Our low time is about 345 this afternoon, so just as the storm is right about beside us, if we'd been at high tide, it would be a whole different story in the battery, and all of our coastal flooding concerns would have been heightened. We still believe we'll have extra water on the coast line. That could be a problem. We'll have some beach erosion, but I feel much better about the situation than I would if it was happening at high tide. There is, and Jeff was monitoring this this afternoon, an actual outbreak of tornadoes with this system down to our south, and our concern is, is that we may have more tornado warnings while we're on the air. So I really do want all of you ready because we'll have some heavy rain and big thunderstorms for sure and some very strong gusty winds, not only at the coast, but winds inside these storms. You're looking at one right there near Clinton and Raritan. Bedminster just got out of one. And so as we kind of zoom out a little bit up to the north, this is the path that we're going to be watching EIS go to. But look at the timestamp here. By 8 o'clock, when earlier we'd been putting it somewhere around here by 8 o'clock, now 8 o'clock this thing is rocketing. It's almost by Albany at this point. So we will break into drier skies around dinner time. But between now and then, a lot to get through. Here's the path, the readjusted path now. So the heaviest rain or the soaking rainfall, the flooding rain will be a lot closer to this than it is in coastal areas. But now with that band of storm moving on, and some of them could be strong to severe, we know there will be some isolated pockets of heavier rainfall totals to deal with as well. This is the zone that we're most concerned about getting some severe storms as that band that I just showed you kind of pulls itself on shore. Let me take a quick second to show you what's going to happen over the next couple of hours. We'll look at two o'clock and the center of circulation moves from here to right about there. And look at this by Sussex and Newburgh. That's a lot of heavy rain to get through. Lighter rain along the coastline, but still some storms very close to the city here that'll be definitely worth watching. In any of these storms that develop offshore and pull in, we can have a quick circulation and a quick tornado and some very quick damage. So your attention is really important over the next couple of hours as we watch this very unusual inland tropical storm pull north of our area. As long as I've been here, I haven't seen a setup like that. And you know, I've been here for a while. 6 p.m., this is what it looks like. We're breaking into some better looking skies so we can all hope for the drier moment later and everybody can get out then. But right now, back to you guys while we look at everything that's breaking. All right, Sam, thank you very much. We're going to turn now to all of our reporters who are out in the field right now. We're going to begin with Eyewitness News reporter Dan Krauth. He is live in Asbury Park. And Dan, how are the conditions there? 
We'll just listen to the wind out here. I'm here on the boardwalk, which is normally packed with people, but that is not the case today, which is a good thing. Take a look over here to my left at these waves, which have picked up dramatically over just the past 20 minutes since I saw you last. Look at those massive white caps. If you take a look farther here down the boardwalk, where we see a few people walking right now, it is definitely a red flag day that you can see over there in the distance. That flag was standing upright. And as you can see now, it is flapping in the wind. You can also see it right here behind me with this seagrass, which is all bent over here on its side. There's concerned about three main things out here today. The high winds, there was a gust of 57 miles per hour just south of us just a few minutes ago. We're also concerned about rain and storm surge. And of course, there was tornadoes that Sam talked to us about just a few minutes ago. Take a look at this video we just shot here within the last 30 minutes. It shows those fierce winds. You can just hear that wind howling through the area from the beach to the boardwalk. This is mainly empty out here right now, a ghost town, except for a few joggers we spoke with just a few minutes ago who wanted to get their run in before the storm swept through this area. Have a listen. Yeah, it's actually a nice breeze. Feels good. We jogged, we're soaked, and we're wet, and it was an experience. <laughs> we have the whole boardwalk to ourselves. It was nice. We're the only two crazies out. She described that as a light breeze. Now we're facing possible tropical storm force winds. A lot changed, a lot deteriorated over the past 45 minutes, and we will be here to let you know what happens. Hopefully you're watching this from the comfort of your home right now. Reporting live in Asbury Park, Dan Kraut, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Good advice, Dan. Thank you very much. Uh, we continue our coverage now with Tony Yates. She is live with conditions right now in Marstown. Tony? Yeah, good afternoon, Sandra. You know, a lot of our viewers were asking on social media what we do to cover storms like this. And what we typically do is we try to find an overhang that will protect us a little bit from the storm. But the wind has been kicking up and the rain has been coming down so hard that we're still getting pelted. I want to show you a little bit of what's happening in Morristown right now because the rain is coming down really hard. And you can see how flooded uh, the parking area is. That water is just flowing. Uh, the, w the rain really just picked up as I started talking to you again, and this is just the beginning. It's going to get much worse. Hopefully, and this is our best case scenario, today will be just a washout, and tomorrow we'll be back to summer sun. But in the ne meantime, we hope for the best and prepare for the worst. And please, folks, stay in and stay safe. All morning, it's been steady rain in the region. Here in Marstown, it's meant puddles on the road, a good excuse to take it easy if you must venture out. The storm is expected to get much worse as the day progresses. It's overcast now, zero sun, and the wind is expected to whip up. The governor's office is in contact with power companies and OEM offices throughout the state. This is a storm that officials are hoping people take seriously enough to stay put indoors. With the amount of rain that we anticipate getting today, uh, drainage systems will have a hard time moving all that water, so we do expect flooding. Um, I can't emphasize enough, please do not drive through flooded areas. As the governor said, if you get stuck, it is going to be very difficult for us to get in there and get you out. Now, here's the thing about driving through floods. So many people think that they, they are the one person who can get through the flood, you know, if they just hit the gas and stay out of the middle. But once again, we put our first responders in harm's way when we try that. So today, this storm is very serious. Give them a break. This storm will be over soon enough. For now, we're live here in Morristown, New Jersey. Tony Gates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Tony, thank you very much. Meanwhile, Governor Murphy has ordered a state of emergency for New Jersey. In Hoboken, drivers there have been ordered to stay off the road. And Jersey City has set up sandbags to protect homes and businesses from flooding. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller is there, and he continues our coverage. Derek. And Liz, flash flooding is a major concern. Right now we are standing on 2nd Street here in Jersey City, and the rain really has just started. It's light so far, but check out uh, what it looks like here in this neighborhood. Not a lot of people walking around, very little traffic. You see that construction site over there, that is shut down for the day. And like I said, the potential for flooding is real. Truckloads of sand on the move in Jersey City. Sandbags now put in place to protect low-lying areas. We've seen the flooding from previous storms. People know what to expect, but I feel like people are never entirely ready. Uh, we've done our best to get people aware of the potential flooding issues here. Jersey City Mayor Stephen Phillips says without improved infrastructure, this low-tech solution will have to do for now. 
we have big problems. And yeah, we're putting $100 million plus into repairing some of that now, but you know, none of that's overnight fixes. Next door in flood prone Hoboken, the municipal parking garages are already full. They want non-essential workers off the road by five tonight. Definitely worried to move your car and put it into safer areas rather than leave it in the street. But if you must drive a car in this storm, you need to be prepared. Do not be caught by surprise. Make sure that you have batteries. Make sure that you have uh, you gas up your car, any vehicle. Make sure you have water and have your cell phone and communication devices charged. And so back here live in Jersey City, you see those trees whipping a little bit. So the wind certainly is picking up a little bit and the rain has picked up as well. But certainly this is just the beginning. Obviously, we are looking for uh, some higher winds, some higher rain totals as we go into the afternoon. Mayor Stephen Fulop here in Jersey City, he also said he's urging all of these restaurants that have been doing outdoor dining. You got to put away those tables, chairs and those umbrellas as we brace for high winds this afternoon. Reporting live here in Jersey City, I'm Derek Waller. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Derek, thank you very much for the update from there. We want to get in some breaking news this afternoon. Dr. Oxiris Barbeau has stepped down as the New York City Health Commissioner. In her resignation letter, Barbeau said she is leaving her post deeply disappointed. She said that during the most critical public health crisis in our lifetime, the health department's incomparable disease control expertise was not used to the degree it could have been. Just moments ago, Mayor de Blasio announced that she will be replaced by Dr. Dave Chokshi. He worked in Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina. He was here in New York City as part of the response to Sandy. Again, played a pivotal role at health and hospitals addressing the coronavirus crisis and did it by creating a team approach. Uh, Mayor de Blasio said Chokshi will lead with compassion, fairness and effectiveness. And still to come on Eyewitness News at noon on this very busy afternoon, we're going to continue with Tropical Storm Isais and a travel advisory now in effect in New York City. We're going to have much more on that coming up. Also ahead, we'll show you how towns on the coast on Long Island are preparing for the storm surge. Plus, the storm making landfall in North Carolina last night. We're going to show you some of the dramatic damage left behind. Does a physical or mental health condition keep you from working? Have you been denied disability or do you need help applying for benefits? I'm Scott London and we have helped thousands of clients just like you. Call us today, 877-978-3050. Hire an experienced disability representative. Let us help you get the disability benefits you deserve. Don't wait, call now, 877-978-3050. We are dedicated to helping the disabled. Join the thousands of New Jersey homeowners who can rely on the expert appliance technicians of PSCNG worry-free. Enroll in two protection plans with code 8SUMMER20 and get three months free. Make your home a worry-free home. Visit PSCG.com slash worry-free. If you or a loved one suffers from heavy legs, painful varicose veins, spider veins, itching or burning in the legs, and non-healing leg wounds, don't delay your visit to USA Vein Clinics. Treatment takes only 15 minutes and is covered by Medicare and most insurance plans. If left untreated, these symptoms can lead to more complications. Call USA Vein Clinics to schedule your consultation with one of our leading vascular specialists, 347-894-5005. New York City certainly keeping a close eye on flood-prone areas as Isaias moves this way. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan is live in Lower Manhattan. Candace? Yes, Andrew, we're getting a heavy band of rain at this moment. The mayor really encouraging people to stay inside if they can and also to uh, take this very seriously. He's concerned about the tornado threat here along South Street. I want to show you these barriers that we see in city workers working on as late as this morning, trying to make them taller and also adding sandbags. This storm is a test to see if this can hold back the water. As the rain began falling in lower Manhattan, city leaders watching the track of the storm. The strongest wind band that we're going to see from this storm is going to track right over New York City. The warnings of not only wind, but now tornadoes. As they look at the trail, Isais has left behind already. We've already seen several tornadoes uh, uh, have um, landed in the eastern states in the path of this storm. The rain, flooding potential, the winds, 
even again, potential tornado. That's a lot. In lower Manhattan, many are watching, anxious to see if these bright orange water-filled tiger barriers can stop floodwaters. This, they say they're supposed to at least hold the percentage. I'm not sure how strong or hard it is enough, but I hope it does something. Juan Garcia living here through Superstorm Sandy. Cars were floating the whole entire first floor. Got flooded. It's the first try for parts of the city's interim flood protection barriers. City leaders saying they're ready to add barriers in other areas of town if needed, but also warning those in known low lying neighborhoods to be ready for one to two feet of water above ground. Because of the wind, we will also see significant wave action that will bring more water into these areas. Hopefully, really hopefully, the damage that they that, what, that happened last time, it was a lot. Yeah, and they're telling anyone who might have anything outside to make sure you tie it down. You're definitely going to want to do that in this wind. Also, the city outdoor dining, that's been suspended for the day, even though it's doubtful that people want to actually sit in this weather. Live here in lower Manhattan, I'm Candace McCowan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Candace, thank you very much. Well, Governor Cuomo has added another state to the tri-state area's quarantine list. Rhode Island has now qualified for travel advisory. However, Delaware and Washington, D.C. have now been removed from the list. The quarantine applies to any person arriving from an area with positive test rate of 10% or higher over a seven-day rolling average. Currently, 35 states and territories have met that criteria. Coming up, a coronavirus cluster at Rutgers is growing. The number of cases now linked to the football team. And all eyes on Tropical Storm Isaias as it moves into our area. Sam Champion is back with your exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Closed captioning is sponsored by Raymore and Flanagan. Find it, feel it, furnish it fast. I'm Norm. I'm Saz. And we live in Columbia, Missouri. We do consulting, but we also write. We take care of ourselves constantly. It's important. We walk three to five times a week, a couple miles at a time. We've both been taking Prevagen for a little more than 11 years now. After about 30 days of taking it, we noticed a clarity that we didn't notice before. It's still helping me. I still notice a difference. Prevagen. Healthier brain. Better life. Real people are realizing there's a better way to mobile. My carrier probably has a lot of fees I don't even know are there. Basic phone line access, federal universal service charge, I don't even know what that is. Why am I paying these fees? At Spectrum Mobile, there are no added taxes and fees. What you see is what you pay. $45 a line with our unlimited data plan or $14 a gig with our buy the gig plan. The calculator said that we would save $600 a year. We've actually saved $612 in half a year. With Spectrum Mobile, I'm saving over $350 a year. $650 a year. It's true. Most customers who use our calculator find they could save hundreds every year. Don't wait. Find your savings at SpectrumMobile.com or call 855-457-8247 and get it all with free nationwide talk and text and no contracts. I'm ready to switch. Get more for less with our unlimited data plan for $45 a line or our buy the gig plan for $14 a gig. Plus, get the flexibility to mix and match plans. Visit a Spectrum store. Go to SpectrumMobile.com or call 855-457-8247. This Eyewitness News AccuWeather Report is sponsored by Ross Salino, reminding you to shop local. We're getting back to life outside of our homes again, and our local stores really need our support. So whether it's hardware, sporting goods, clothing, or that bakery that you've been dreaming about, let's shop local. It's good for all of us. If there's a local store you want to promote, share their name on my Facebook page. We'll also choose a few at random and feature them in future commercials. New York is on the way back, and we'll get there together. Uh, we are back with some new video as Tropical Storm Isaias moves into South Jersey. This is from Stone Harbor, which is just north of Cape May. You can see the heavy rain that is moving through there. Uh, that is where several warnings, there were several tornado warnings earlier. And then a little further south in Maryland, pictures are coming in of some of the tornado damage there. This is in Mardella Springs near the Delaware border. Mm -hmm. There has been at least five tornadoes reported in that state so far. Yeah, I mean, look, we've all seen bigger storms around here, certainly, but this one, we have to take it serious, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because every storm has its own kind of characteristics and its own trouble. So let me just show you what the health of this system is right now, because we're not even going down to the National uh, Hurricane Center to see what's going on with it. We can see all in our one radar shot right here. So there's the center of the storm. We're watching it pull that moisture off the Atlantic. We're watching a little pulse and die down here. So this is a weakening system. 
system at this point. And I'm going to show you a couple reasons why. This little leg, which is going to be our toughest weather that whips through the area, this is feeding that moisture and that energy into the storm circle. You're noticing it kind of spread apart right now, and that's a good thing. The other thing is look at the red here. Watch it flare up. Watch it die down, watch it flare up just a little bit in the last couple of uh, angles here. So we're looking at that, the rain around the area. We can't say we're done with this until it's to the north. And that's something we're going to deal with in short order because it's moving pretty quickly. We've got flash flood warnings out because of all this. We've still got our tropical storm warning. We've got our uh, tornado watch out until 4 o'clock. Flash flood watches for all areas. Inland areas are going to have some rain standing on road surfaces all the way through the night. And we may be dealing with some residual flooding from creeks and streams tomorrow morning on your drive in coastal concerns whole nother issue we're going to have some really erosion on the Jersey Shore and a little bit of extra flooding Nassau and Suffolk County because we're watching that wind just push that water in wouldn't be surprised into the sound either to see some western areas of the sound start to flood New York Harbor will have some splash but we're really good on the fact that we're in a lower tide cycle than we uh, than if we were at the high tide because our low tide is about 345 Jeff Smith has been watching the radars and everything popping with that Jeff what have you got going on this Sam we have an absolutely jaw-dropping storm report to tell you about here. And Sam, you and I were on the air during the 11 o'clock hour during the tornado warning. I was moving across Long Beach Island. We just got a report ship bottom on Long Beach Island. Get this one, a wind gust to 109 miles per hour measured at the Long Beach Island Surf Weather Flow Station. So that's an official weather station there. This was association with that tornadic thunderstorm. Doppler radar data was basically confirming that, indicating velocities as high as 112 miles per hour, 1,590 feet above the ground. So winds over 100 miles per hour confirmed on Long Beach Island with those storms moving on through. Millstone, these winds are starting to penetrate inland as well. 44 mile per hour sustained wind at Hillsboro uh, at 11:19 this morning. So the tropical storm force winds are moving into New York City as well. Queens Village just got a report a little while ago. Tree fell into a house on Gettysburg Street. The house is on fire as a result. So some pretty dramatic reports here. And also in terms of the flooding, the tributary creeks of the uh, Musconetcong, I thought Isaias was hard to say, river, have overflowed their banks, resulted in flooding roadways there in Hackettstown, New Jersey. And this was a bona fide tornado outbreak over the Delmarva. And of course, it has extended into parts of our area as well. The good news is on the radars, there isn't quite as much rotation as what we saw earlier, but there's still that very heavy rainfall off to the west. Radar estimates of over four and a half inches of rain already over parts of Warren County, New Jersey, and we head downstream over, say, parts of the Chesapeake Bay, northern parts of Delaware, upwards eight to nine inches of rain. So there's more rain where that came from, all pointed toward northwestern New Jersey mm -hmm. into the Poconos and Catskills as well. Sam? Yeah, that'll be our, our high-end rainfall totals there. So this is the path of the storm. Uh, Jeff is going to continue throughout this show to be watching for anything that breaks. You'll get it first here because we got two of us working at the same time. So watch this uh, track here. Notice that we're looking at it well west. It's right on the Jersey border, basically. So that's further adjusted west. That is what Jeff was saying. They the heavier rain will be west of the area. We'll have lighter rainfall totals here. I'm not giving you the all clear though yet because we still have some wind problems to deal with and the wind is still going to be a little intense for a while. Look at two o'clock here. The center of circulation is now up kind of parallel with Newburgh in that corner of Pennsylvania on its way into the Hudson Valley. The heavier rain will go with it. Poughkeepsie by about 3.30 in the afternoon. Bridgeport will have a thunder shower. There'll still be some residual thunderstorms and thunder showers at that point, but then we get into drier air quickly overnight. Rainfall totals, this is what we're looking at for the heavier areas of flooding, parts of our area, Sullivan, Rockland, a uh, little bit of Orange County involved in this, northwest New Jersey of more than five inches of rain. Here's the wind that we're talking about, 57 mile per hour wind at about 2, 215. So we can't call it done until we get rid of these winds here. And the rain may end and the wind still be with us for a little while. We'll still have some gusty winds at around uh, seven or eight o'clock, but the skies will be clearing. There's our rain at about three o'clock, pulling the strong rains. Look at the banding of that. That's our last action out of it as it starts to pull away. There may be one or two scattered thunder showers to have to deal with overnight, but they'll settle out pretty quickly. During the day tomorrow, as of 6 a.m., we'll have a good amount of sunshine. Strong winds for the next few hours, some heavy rains. Most of that will be well west of the area, but I wouldn't say that we couldn't have a strong downpour, so just keep an eye on that. Less wind and clearing skies at 71 degrees, 86 degrees for the day tomorrow. Today's the only trouble spot. Guys? Mm. Thank you very much, Sam. Tracking East Aeas, we're going to take you live to oh, Long yeah. Island coming up. And you're looking live now at Asbury Park as East Aeas pushes through. More live team coverage ahead at 1230. Have you been looking at replacing your home's windows or doors? If so, I'm sure price is a huge factor. At Renewal by Anderson, 
We're really proud of our fair pricing policy. We're a typical middle class family. We have a budget. We need to be aware of where our money is going. And the great thing about Renewal by Anderson was they actually had several financing options that were going to make sense for our situation. So let's talk windows. Our Fibrex window material is like the gold standard in the industry. It's a composite material that lasts longer, performs better, and is actually two times stronger than vinyl. Okay, so you're carrying this out to your back deck, but you gotta stop and try to shove open that patio door. That can be real frustrating. The dual ball bearing adjusters on our patio doors help the doors to glide easily. At Renewal by Anderson, we've been doing this a long time, and we know that you don't want some hard sell sales pitch. We'll visit your home, see exactly what you have, and then give you an exact price quote. And we'll honor that price for a whole year so that there's no pressure. Let us give you a price on the windows and doors that you will love. We had the intention of looking at different companies, doing some due diligence, and we started with Renewal by Anderson, and it was such a compelling conversation and process that we ended up not even looking any further. We've adjusted our operations to serve you in the safest way possible. For one month only, Renewal by Anderson is having a flash sale on our windows and patio doors. Save $325 on every window and save $850 on every patio door. Get a free upgrade to our smart sunglass. Plus, save an additional $200 on your entire project. And with our financing, don't pay anything for one year. We offer virtual appointments now, too. Get a price from the safety of your own home. This flash sale ends August 31st. Call 1-800-334-4422. Turning now to the very latest on the coronavirus pandemic, and in New Jersey, the number of COVID-19 cases connected to the Rutgers University football team has nearly doubled. Reports say there are now 28 players plus several staff members with the virus. That is up from 15 players last week. Rutgers football players returned for voluntary workouts back in June. Two players tested positive during the first round of testing. The program has since halted workouts. And Miami Marlins CEO Derek Jeter is now speaking out about the team's coronavirus outbreaks in Florida, blaming on a false sense of security. 21 members of the Marlins traveling party, including at least 18 players, were infected following a major league baseball investigation. Jeter says it's impossible to know where the first Marlins player became infected or how it reached the clubhouse. Jeter says his players are upset over speculation that reckless misbehavior was to blame. Our guys were not running all around town after our game in Atlanta. Obviously, looking back, guys probably would have done a little bit better. Right? They would have kept their masks on. They would have social distanced. We've been given an opportunity to hit the reset button. And um, you know, moving forward, we just cannot make any mistakes here. That is for certain. The Marlins season resumes tonight in Baltimore after a hiatus of more than a week. The sideline players will be replaced by prospects and veterans the organization acquired in the past week. Our coverage of Isaias continues. Up next, we will head to Long Island to see just how the storm will impact things there. Plus, now that it has passed through North Carolina, a look at some of the deadly damage left behind. And the Jersey Shore getting battered right now. Continuing coverage when we return. Eyewitness News at noon is coming right back. With Con Edison... You have the power to live greener. We'll be tripling our energy efficiency programs, making it easier for you to save energy and money. Where there's energy, there's Con Edison. Hey there, people eligible for Medicare. Give me one minute, and I'll tell you some important things to know about Medicare. First, it doesn't pay for everything. Say this pizza is your Part B medical expenses. This much, about 80%, Medicare will pay for What's left is on you. That's where an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company comes in. This type of plan helps pay some of what Medicare doesn't. These are the only plans to carry the AARP endorsement for meeting their high standards of quality and service. So call United Healthcare Insurance Company today and ask for your free decision guide. With this type of plan, you'll have the freedom to choose any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. And when you travel, your plan will go with you anywhere in the country. 
Phew. Call United Healthcare today and ask for your free decision guide. With Con Edison, you have the power to power on. We're building a smarter energy grid to be more efficient and reliable so we can keep New York unstoppable. Because where there's energy, there's Con Edison. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Our top story this afternoon, Tropical Storm Isaias is moving up the eastern coast. New Jersey officials urging people to stay indoors and avoid driving, especially through flooded areas. A state of emergency is in effect, and at this hour, 140,000 people are without power. In Asbury Park, Tropical Storm Force winds are whipping through the area. Powerful winds have been clocking at speeds of 57 miles an hour. Coastal areas are watching out for the storm surge as Isaias pushes into the region. And New York City closely watching flood-prone areas and travel advisory. It is in place. Barriers and sandbags have been set up in an effort to stop flood waters in lower Manhattan. And city leaders are warning those known who live in known low-lying neighborhoods to be ready for water one to two feet above ground. Good afternoon again. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Liz Cho. Shirlene and David are both off this afternoon. We're going to continue our live coverage with reports from Long Island, New Jersey, and North Carolina. We are going to begin, though, with Sam Champion. He's got the very latest on the storm. Yeah, let's take a look at this because some, there's some very interesting stuff that's happening as we go through because the center of this circulation is now pulling north of Philly, kind of uh, kind of parallel with uh, Trenton here. And a couple of things I want to show you. Look at the ending of the rain across the area. We're going to be able to call an end to the rain in short order, although I'm not going to call an end to the storm because the wind will outlast the rain. Now, a couple of reasons this is happening. One of the ways you can see how it's getting fed with moisture it's easy to see that spike, but at the same time, there's a spike of dry air that's been pulling off to the west that's kind of getting into the circulation as well at this point. So we're kind of in that place where there's a lot of heavy rain, but there's still some very strong gusty wind. The heavy rain is loaded north, so we've got that rain moving out, but we're not done with the wind for a couple of hours. A uh, tornado watch is in effect for us, and it's still possible with that feeder band I just showed you of getting some storms that are active enough to get a little rotation high in those clouds and drop that rotation down. So we're still watching for that. Still some big rainfall totals. We've had flood warnings out, uh, flash flood warnings out in some of that rain. And I expect some of that to be going on in the Hudson Valley and northern corners of New Jersey as well. Coastal situation, we're going to chop up those beaches. We're going to put some extra water up against the shoreline. So there will be some flooding because we have that wind pushing that water against the shoreline. And until the center of circulation gets way up here, we're not going to relax that wind. So the wind's just shoving that water up against the coast into New York Harbor. The good news here, with our coastal set, set up is that we are not at high tide. High tide is again at nine o'clock tonight. Low tides a little bit after three o'clock. That's on average for the area. I know individual tides vary across the area. Tornado outbreak down to the south with this. The good news is we haven't had much happen, but Jeff Smith is upstairs in the weather center watching this hour by hour and moment by moment here. Here's a lighter band. There's a heavier band. Still more storms will pull across Long Island and wrap into this. So Hudson Valley, Connecticut, you will soon get into some of that rain as well. We'll just zoom in just a little bit to show you as you start to work across 78 as you start start to work 278 that's just a light shower there Plainfield has a little storm north of Bedminster into Mendham here that's a nice little break for you you've had some very heavy rain today and that heavy rain has moved up a little bit to the north so in the track of this storm very important to notice that when we watch this here um, we'll watch that line move right along the Jersey shoreline that's the path that's expected to take earlier if you were with us this afternoon Jeff and I were looking at the radar and we thought it looked like it was moving a little bit more east and indeed it was. It's got a northeastern move on the path right now, and it'll hold it right on the border of New Jersey and also Pennsylvania. Then it'll jump into by 8 o'clock tonight on past the Hudson Valley into central New York State, still at about a 60 mile per hour storm. We could have some wind gusts in the area still within the next few hours. 50, 55, 65 mile per hour winds would not be out of the question to see a 70 mile per hour wind gust out east. So I need everybody still paying attention, even if the rain shuts down. Guys, we'll be back in just a minute. All right. Thank you very much, Sam. Nada, I Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager. She is continuing our live coverage from Freeport on Long Island. Stacy. 
Well, hi, Sandra. I agree with Sam. We are not relaxed about the wind at all here in Freeport. It has picked up dramatically even within the past five or ten minutes. So, you know, if timing is everything, the good news is this. The high tide here isn't until later this evening, and the worst of the rain is really expected late afternoon. So hopefully Freeport will be spared. Nevertheless, in low-lying areas like this, you can never be too careful. The first band of serious rain rolled in just after 11 this morning here in Freeport. And already with the wind kicking up, boat owners were out all morning preparing. They know all too well about serious storms here. They just hope Isaias is as quick as promised. Hopefully it doesn't hit very hard. Hopefully it blows through and uh, we have no damage to the marina. Officials in Nassau County promising resources but hoping nature spares the region this time. Because this storm is churning by so quickly, it's going to miss that high, the, the, the high tide. So that's very, very good news. We've got the full moon, and you don't want to have the high tide, the full moon, and the storm at the same time. We've seen that before. With the threat of flash flooding, a storm surge, and wind damage, residents got out while they could. I'm trying not to get too nervous, but my wife gets very nervous. I've got to see it to believe it. And most will be seeing it from inside. I don't know. We're just getting prepared. I'm going to watch it, though. <laughs> I'm going to look forward to watching it come. <laughs> Yep, and we are definitely watching that wind. We are watching that wind kick up. A live look here at the marina along the nautical mile here in Freeport where all morning long folks were tying their boats up very tightly. In the past few minutes, the sky has turned a much darker gray. We've been spared the heavy, heavy rain so far, but I have a feeling it is coming. Also, the county executive suggesting that uh, people in low-lying areas along the south shore maybe move your car to higher ground here in Freeport. They're very optimistic. They made some changes after Sandy. They are just hoping the flooding is not severe. We're live in Freeport. I'm Stacy Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Stacy, thank you very much. We have more coverage of Tropical Storm Isaias coming up. We have tornado warnings that were earlier this afternoon in Ocean and Monmouth counties. There's also reported tornado at some point. We are going to talk to the undersheriff from Ocean County when we come right back. Are you happy with your bathroom? I wasn't until I learned about Bath Fitter. Bath Fitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bath Fitter will measure, custom make, and install right over your existing tub. And only Bath Fitter has seamless walls, which guarantees a watertight fit. Plus, they do it all in just one day. I know because I did it. Get a free consultation in home or by phone now, and we'll design your new bath. 0% interest for 30 months. Call now. Do you push through four or more migraine days a month? Mom, are you okay to play? Absolutely. Let's see what's inside. Imagine what you can do with more migraine-free days. When you're able to help prevent migraine days with Emgality, imagine the possibilities. Once monthly Emgality was specifically developed to help prevent migraine days from starting in the first place. It is designed to work for 30 days and nights. Emgality cut the number of monthly migraine days by 50% or more for some people. Don't use if allergic to Emgality. Allergic reactions such as itching, rash, hives, and trouble breathing can occur even days after using. Common side effects include injection site reactions. Ask your doctor about Emgality. You can access doctors from home with telemedicine. If you or a loved one suffers from heavy legs, painful varicose veins, spider veins, itching or burning in the legs, and non-healing leg wounds, don't delay your visit to USA Vein Clinics. Treatment takes only 15 minutes and is covered by Medicare and most insurance plans. If left untreated, these symptoms can lead to more complications. Call USA Vein Clinics to schedule your consultation with one of our leading vascular specialists. 347-894-5005. This summer, get back to where you belong, along 60 miles of beautiful wide-open beaches, where family vacations have never been so much fun. With every sunrise and each high tide, the beach is calling you to raise your spirits, make you smile, and bring your family closer together. So stop dreaming and start booking, because we can't wait for you to get here. Visit Myrtle Beach and discover why happiness comes in waves. For those with active lifestyles, Goya Pure Coconut Water. 
It's high quality, affordable, and it's even won an award. Enjoy it by itself or in a smoothie. Goya Pure Coconut Water. Natural hydration for real-life chefs. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Well, we continue to track Isaias, and we're joined on the phone right now by Rick Burquist. He's the under sheriff of Ocean County. And, sir, can you hear me? It's Liz Cho. Good afternoon. You're a little broken up, but I can hear you. Okay. Well, we appreciate you joining us. We know we're in the middle of Tropical Storm Isaias. First of all, just fill us in on the situation there. How are conditions there right now? And then also, there were reports of a tornado that touched down earlier today. Can you talk to us about damage and any potential injuries? We had tornado warning. We were receiving tornado warnings uh, earlier in the day. Uh, I have no confirmation of any tornadoes touching down in Oakland County at this point. Uh, we do have a lot of wind damage throughout the county. Uh, some localized flooding, but uh, the majority of our issues are wind related uh, and putting knocking power out to uh, businesses and residences. And how are conditions there now for you? Uh, it's still windy. It looks like it's. Uh, Setting down a little bit, and the rain appears to have stopped, at least in the northern part of the county. And in terms of folks out and about, have you had any issue with po uh, people not staying at home? I know there was a state of emergency. The governor had been urging people to stay indoors, off the roads today. Have you folks uh, had any issues with folks not abiding by those commands? Uh, traffic is not heavy, but it's not light. There are a number of motor vehicle crashes uh, throughout Ocean County uh, that the local police departments are dealing with. All right, Rick Burquist, he's the undersheriff for uh, Ocean County. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us uh, this afternoon. And please, you and your folks there, stay safe. Thanks, Liz. Take care. Isaias battered North Carolina before heading our way. At least two people are dead there after reported tornadoes touched down. A video from above shows the path of destruction. And earlier, first responders answered calls for water rescues and fires because of the storm. Diane Wilson from our sister station in North Carolina, WTVD, is live with damage in Bertie County. Diana? Good afternoon. You know, a devastating, sad day here in Bertie County. This is some of the destruction of restaurant here. The tornado, you can see, just broke right through the glass and then continued on its path. And while this restaurant can rebuild, the most destruction happened about a few miles from here. You can see from Chopper 11, a mobile home park community totally decimated by the reported tornado. We have so far two deaths, and they are still looking for three people who are unaccounted for. A could be too because they just added that second death so they're trying to figure out if that death is for one of the unaccounted for or not but there's two children that they are still looking for at the least we know more than 20 people were injured in that it whipped through right after one o'clock in the morning surprising many people as they are sleeping this is a rural community and so while they were alerted of the storm many of them slept through that alert and just were caught off guard and the destruction there more than 10 homes destroyed and rescue crews are in there right now searching for those two unaccounted people possibly three sifting through all that debris. They're not allowing anyone in there. There's dozens of search and rescue crews looking for those people and at least 20 people injured. And we have two deaths here in that just just in that community alone. And then besides that community, uh, the tornado continued, like I said, with the destruction here at this restaurant carried on. If you can see their truck right there toppled over on its side and just continued to topple trees down in that area. So a lot of heartache here, but still a lot of prayers and hope, hoping to find those two people alive that they're still searching for reporting live in Bertie County. I'm Diane Wilson, Eyewitness News. All right, Diane, thank you very much. Just devastating picture. Some of the first that we are seeing of true devastation down south, as well as deaths, those numbers most likely will continue to rise. And as we continue on this very busy Tuesday afternoon, we continue to track East I East. You're looking at a live picture right now outside. We'll have much more. We're going to talk with Sam and where the storm is right now when we come right back. Vinyl flooring is luxurious and soft underfoot. Right now at National Floors Direct, get an entire room of luxury vinyl flooring installed the next day for just $788 and no interest for one year. Call 888-400-FLOOR. We'll bring the store to your door. If you are over 50 and can't work because of physical or mental limitations, you may be entitled to Social Security Disability. Call us today, 877-978-3040. 
If you can't lift over 10 pounds on a regular basis, or if you can't stand all day long, you may be eligible for disability benefits. We can help you get all of the disability benefits you deserve. Call now, 877-978-3040. We are dedicated to helping the disabled. The thrill of the casino on your terms. Play anywhere in New Jersey. Sign up today and play your first day risk-free up to $200. Bet Fair Casino. If you thought replacement windows weren't in the budget this year, listen to this. For one month only, Renewal by Anderson is having a flash sale on our windows and patio doors. Before August 31st, save $325 on every window and save $850 on every patio door. Get a free upgrade to our energy-efficient smart sunglass, and on top of that, save an additional $200 on your whole project. For your peace of mind, know that we've adjusted our operation to serve you in the safest way possible. Before our flash sale is over, save $325 on every window. Save $850 on every patio door. Get a free upgrade to our smart sunglass and save an additional $200 on your whole project. With no money down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year, our sale is one month only and ends August 31st. For your free appointment, call 1-800-783-1700. Uh, you're looking live at our camera at Asbury Park. Wow. Well, you can see the surf there. Obviously, the winds battering the, the coastline as Isaias moves through. And this is going to be our life for the next few hours here, right, Sam? Yeah, we've got more heavy rain, western areas and north to get through. Southern areas are about to shut down the rain. The wind is going to stay with us until the evening hours. Let me show you what's going on here. And you can see it at home, exactly what we're talking about. Dry air intrusion shutting down this tropical system, basically. Look at the rain bands that are still trying to feed the northern part of it. This we've got to get through through Long Island. These storms are pretty intense there. Heavy rain in the Hudson Valley, heavy rain in northwest New Jersey, and dry air right there. Where's that dry air coming from? Everything in now remember all day long today this storm's been traveling on land but it was close enough to the Atlantic that it was feeding it getting fed by that Atlantic moisture now this dry air that was back off to the west look at that right there just within the last hour or so getting pulled in to that storm so it's easy to see how it's fed with moisture but sometimes you just can't see how that dry air is getting in and pulling around on the Jersey Shore so we'll be shutting down the rain but we won't be shutting down the wind and that's why I want you to stay inside for a few more hours because anything that gets flying around Around there and there's lots of wind to be had can become dangerous so it'll feel safe to you but it isn't yet until that circulation is north to us we've got thunderstorm and winds east winds at anywhere from 30 to 46 miles per hour that's what we're talking about and those winds will be intense for a while longer had some flash flooding it's likely we'll have more northern areas and northwestern areas of new jersey tropical storm warning still in effect until the hurricane center decides it's something other than a tropical storm tornado watches out until four o'clock because any of those storms that are still pulling in and even some of these that are there in northern New Jersey could spin up pretty quickly. A small tornado, but any tornado can do some damage. Flash flood watch is still out there, and I would expect we will see some flash flooding from the kind of rains we'll see over the next couple of hours across the area. Let's go into the coastal effects because we really haven't uh, had to deal with too much of it because the storm was sitting well inland. But as the winds continue, that's going to be kind of pushing that water against the coastline and still stirring up some coastal problems. So our, our low tide is at about 3, 345 on general around the area. High tide comes back at us by about 9 o'clock. The good news is that by the time we get back to that high tide cycle, the center of circulation will be well to the north, practically near Albany. So we'll still have some winds, but it won't be that pounding wind up against the shoreline. We may miss some of the worst effects of this flooding, coastal flooding, because we were lucky enough to get this storm moving through at a lower tide cycle than our high tide normal. So take a look at the rains that are still going on here. Some heavy rain in Mount Olive, some in Ramapo as well. All this in Newburgh is still running to Thompson. I would expect some of this rain to continue, but the good news here for us is the very heavy rain, the rain will continue to have flooding. More than four inches of rain will be back off to our west, more along the border. Now, this keeps getting updated, and because the National Weather Service and the Storm Prediction Center is watching a 
exactly what you and I are watching in real time, that dry air pulling in here. So they've limited the thunderstorms a little bit to the north here, just as we just told you. So northern New Jersey, good part of Long Island, Hudson Valley, Connecticut, still likely you guys could get some storms in this area here. And those storms could be strong to severe because they're getting that pull off the Atlantic. And those storms are just kind of free to form. So they're building towering tops. Everything's happy with the thunderstorm when it has nothing to stop it from building. And it's building or they're building out there. Then they hit land and they start to tumble around. The land kind of aggravates them underneath and you get a little spin in those clouds with all that circulation. Get a drop down of a little tornado and that's possible in some of these. Also could be some severe storms with strong gusty winds. So I'm not calling the end of this yet. Even though southern areas are out of the rain and getting some of that dry air in, we have some wind to deal with until that center is up here. And that's a couple of hours away. So I'm concerned about the gusty winds still in the forecast. And I will tell you that we're going to get some more rain in northern corners of, of uh, New Jersey, also looking into the Hudson Valley. That will happen as that rain continues to push up here. So let's just do it hour by hour and see if the model's really updated. And indeed, yep, they sure did. This is Tuesday at about 3.30. Look how far that center of circulation is moving. And the strongest storm still into the Hudson Valley there. So um, we've got some in Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess County still to be had. Poughkeepsie, you'll still have some strong storms. Still a little thunder shower going on as you start to get into uh, White Plains area and all of that on Connecticut that will have come across Long Island. So Long Island, Connecticut, you may not have had much action in the first part of this storm, but for the next few hours, our focus will be on you, northern New Jersey, and also the Hudson Valley. Those strong winds will just keep going for a while into the night, I have a feeling though. Let's check the timestamp here. 245, maybe a 50 mile per hour wind gust in Central Park, maybe a steady wind of about 50 miles per hour in the Hudson Valley. That's why I'm saying don't get in the car, don't drive around yet. That kind of wind is going to take down trees with saturated ground. And we'll keep strong winds up for a while. There's that last line of storms about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, pulling out of the way some drier air in. We could get caught by a little thunder shower overnight tonight as we kind of settle out the air. Look at the, even the model panel saying gusty winds are still around at 4 o'clock, but we may break open with a little bit of sunshine later on this afternoon. Wouldn't that be nice to say it's finally done? 77 degrees to 71 degrees, less wind clearing sky. 86 tomorrow, and you're going to forget that it even happened today, except for a little bit of cleanup around the area. And let's hope those power outages get back in. Liz, Sandra? All right, Sam, we're happy that Isais is moving so quickly. Um, we are starting to see some of the damage um, from Isais. We've been talking about a lot of potential tornadoes that are coming with this storm, especially in New Jersey. Corey Davis from our sister station, WPVI, has more from Wildwood. We're still experiencing strong bursts of wind here in North Wildwood. All of the action is attracting many onlookers who are braving the elements. Consistent wind for several hours and occasional rain were enough to ruin a vacation day for many in North Wildwood. We're down on vacation. As with 20, everything else in 2020, we had a storm to contend with. The reality of dealing with a tropical storm adds another hurdle to what has been a wild year for Anne Marie Tavalkio. It's a better day than work, that's all I have to say. Uh, I'm a healthcare worker and it's been an absolutely wild adventure since March. So, as bad as it is here, it's a nice change of pace from what I've been seeing at work. The tropical weather also proved to be interesting for dozens of people who came out to see the unusual sight of waves consuming the beach and crashing against the seawall. I've been waiting for this uh, storm to, to come up so I can enjoy, uh, you know, the rough surf and, and the wind. I, I really enjoy this. Those who own second homes along the shore also took advantage of having a front row seat. Sight to say. Don't want to go home without missing it. The storm wasn't fun for some. Strong winds caused several transformers to spark and explode along the popular JFK Beach Drive at 4th Avenue. The unpredictable nature, yet another reason state and local leaders are urging everyone to stay inside until the weather clears. So, that, yeah, I mean, we're junior storm chasers, I guess, or, or in my case, senior storms, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, we came down here to see the storm. We've seen reports of downed power lines in the area and emergency officials continue to warn that you should only go outside unless you absolutely must be outdoors. In North Wildwood, Corey Davis, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And when we come back, we will check in with Sam for one last look at the forecast as we continue this afternoon to track Isaias as it makes its way up the East Coast. Story at localish.com. Sponsored by Spectrum. Spectrum Mobile has unlimited talk, text, and data. Save up to 40%. Go to spectrummobile.com today.
Things are starting to look up for small businesses. Your doors are open, customers are calling, orders are picking up. So now, more than ever, your business is going to need reliable internet and phone solutions for less. That's why Spectrum Business is proud to offer new customers the best internet, phone, and TV services for free for one month when you switch. Call 833-921-2400 today and your business will get the best value available with our faster internet speeds that start at 200 megabits per second for only $49.99 per month. Add our reliable business phone service and you'll get unlimited local and long distance calling, plus over 35 calling features to help you stay connected at work or away for just $19.99 per month. At Spectrum Business, we're here for you because you're here for all of us. Get one free month of internet, phone, and TV when you switch to Spectrum Business today. Call 833-921-2400. At Stanley Steamer, we love homes. It's why we started cleaning them over 70 years ago and why we still continue today. According to the CDC, cleaning is a necessary first step of any disinfection process. We use detergents and cleaning agents to ensure that your home is prepared for whatever life brings in. Whatever home means to you, we're ready when you are to make sure your space is clean and that you and the ones you care about most are safe. We love our new home. There's so much space. We have a guest room now. But we have ants. You're slouching again, Ted. Expired. 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 Thanks, Aunt Bonnie. It's a lot of house. I hope you can keep it clean. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Which helps us save a lot of money. Oh, Teddy, did you get my friend request? Oh, I'll have to check. Aunt Joni's here. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. This season is for the fans. Even when the pros went dark, you still found a way to light it up. And turn stay at home into home field advantage. Sure, sometimes it was a stretch, but you never lost that spirit of competition. Yeah, you earned this season, fans. So kick up your feet and enjoy. We'll take it from here. Celebrate the return of the NBA on FanDuel Sportsbook. New users, place your first bet risk-free and get up to $500 back if you don't win. Sam, we have been seeing so many reports of tornadoes because of Isaias, and you were even saying that the wind is going to be the real issue as this wind outlasts the rain. Yeah, the wind definitely sticks around for a while. The rain's wrapping up pretty quickly, Liz, but we still are going to have some flooding rain in northern New Jersey, also the Hudson Valley, Connecticut. I'm going to include you, Fairfield County as well. Thunderstorms and wind are still whipping around the area. East winds at about 30 to 46 miles per hour. Just check Long Island, MacArthur, and that's anywhere from 31 to about 42 miles per hour. Still pretty gusty in a lot of locations. That's the next band of dangerous conditions that'll kind of whip onto Long Island, then wrap into Connecticut, then pull back into the center of circulation. Drier air getting in underneath has kind of shut down the rain in New Jersey. And there's that dry air whipping through Washington, D.C., whipping right up through New Jersey and just kind of shutting Isaias down. So we'll still see enough strong rain on the northern part of it that by 3, 3.30 this afternoon, northern parts of the Hudson Valley toward Poughkeepsie will be dealing with some flooding downpours and still one or two storms will still be moving through Fairfield County. By about 5 30. Here's drier air for most of us, and the showers are departing pretty quickly. That's a nice thing to see. Just a few scattered thunder showers get out of the way. Here's my problem with the next couple of hours. This is Tuesday at 2.30, today at 2.30 in the afternoon, with the 50 mile per hour wind gusts at White Plains and 51 in Central Park. Still 29, 34, uh, 25, 39 mile per hour winds on the Jersey Shore. So there's still a lot of wind left in the system, even if the dry air is getting in. This is 3.30, and we still have a 41 mile per hour wind gust. Look at Bridgeport at about 55 miles per hour. So I don't want you to think as soon as the rain shuts out, oh, let's run outside because we still have a couple of hours of wind left on us here. But by the time we get to six o'clock, skies will brighten overnight. Tonight, we'll clear it out. Tomorrow, we'll have sunshine, guys. Jeff Smith is on duty all evening long. He'll wrap it up with the rainfall totals and all the peak wind gusts. Liz? All Sandra? right, Sam. Great coverage today, both to you and Jeff throughout this entire storm. Thank you very much. And that is going to do it for this edition of Eyewitness News. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Sandra Bookman. For Sam and the entire Eyewitness News team, thank you for watching. And be sure to stay with us all day long as we track Isaias. You can also get our updates on ABC7 and Y apps like Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Android TV. And make sure you're back this afternoon for Eyewitness News first at 4.